Hello, movie lovers. Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'm bringing you my May 2018 Blu-ray and DVD collection update. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So these are my pickups for Blu-rays, DVDs, 4Ks, steelbooks, everything for May of 2018. I'm going to just run over the titles real quick, tell you what videos I've posted so you guys can check those out if you haven't already. And on the ones I did watch, I will give you a quick little review. Unfortunately, as always, I didn't get around to watching everything, but I really tried to get around to the big stuff. There was only a couple titles that I really wanted to review that I didn't get around to. So uh, let's get into it. First up from Universal Studios, we have The Game. Now, this was actually uh, an older movie, 1997. I thought this was a cool looking steelbook from Best Buy. Uh, I did post an unboxing of this. They, they released several steelbooks on the same day. And I just like this one the most, and plus I don't own this movie and I had never seen it, so I decided to pick it up. Um, I will have to watch it. People were telling me it was pretty good. It's pretty highly rated. Uh, from Lionsgate, I got the Hurricane Heist. I did post an un unboxing video and a review video of this one. I was pleasantly surprised. It does have this tagline here from the director of The Fast and Furious. And to me, that was kind of like a, <laughs> a caution sign. I know The Fast and the Furious franchise is really popular, and, I mean, some people might even say the first one was good. If you go back and watch the first one, I mean, it's a good story, and, and there's good elements to it, but the acting was terrible. It's kind of painful to watch, even though I am a big fan of the movie. It, it's, it's a little painful to watch. Um, so I was, I was a little leery of that, uh, but I was pleasantly surprised. This was a decent movie about a natural disaster, a hurricane, that comes to this town, and they have like this money destroying facility there. They take the old dollar bills and five dollar bills, whatever, and they destroy them to take them out of circulation. And the, they're like the whole town has decided to rob this place, and a few people have to try to protect it while well, the hurricane comes in and destroys everything around them. Uh, it actually was pretty interesting. I like the story. I like the characters. Um, it had a female lead, uh, which which was kind of unexpected. Uh, but I definitely enjoyed this one. You guys should definitely check that one out if you haven't. Um, from uh, 4 Digital Media, I guess, would be who this is from. Uh, I'm not sure who distributed it, but this is Jurassic Predator. I'm always a sucker for these <laughs> B-movies, especially these dinosaur ones. Um, they're always varying degree of quality, and with Jurassic World coming out very soon, uh, these movies have really been flooding the market. So I decided to pick this one up. I did post an unboxing of this. Uh, unfortunately, I have not watched it yet, and I don't have any plans in the immediate future to watch it. Um, I would like to, but I just have a lot of stuff on my plate right now. So definitely have to check this one out in the future. Next up from Walt Disney Studios, we got uh, Peter Pan. This is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. I did post an unboxing of this one. This is part of the new Signature Collection, and I've been collecting these Signature Collection steelbooks. Well, of course I collect all the steelbooks, but uh, I've been making sure to pick up these Signature Collection ones. It's not my favorite steelbook by any means. It does have decent artwork. It's kind of middle of the road there as far as quality. Uh, I, ha I haven't seen this one. I don't know what to say about it. It's Peter Pan. You guys probably know. Uh, next up, also from Walt Disney Studios, was somebody, did somebody else do this with them? I don't see any, see anybody else. Um, we got the Incredibles 4K Steelbook from Best Buy. I did post the unboxing of this one. I thought this was a little overpriced. I know this is the first time on 4K, but it's an older movie. Uh, if I can find the year. Uh, not seeing it, but I mean, it's been, it's been out for a long time. And uh, it just seemed, it was like $35. It just seemed overpriced to me. Uh, I haven't watched this yet, and I've never seen it. So I know uh, it's a pretty popular one. And the sequel's coming out very soon. People are looking forward to that one. Uh, from Warner Brothers, we got Game Night with Jason Bateman and Rachel McAdams. Now, I did post an unboxing video and a review video of this one. I was very pleasantly surprised 
with this one. It ended up being a much better movie and much funnier movie than I would have expected. Um, I was trying to see it in theaters, but I never got around to it. And then it got pretty high ratings, and so I decided for sure to pick this one up day one. Uh, it's about these people who are all like into board games, and they have a weekly game night. And then Jason Bateman's character's brother comes to town and really ramps it up with a murder mystery type thing. And things get out of control. It ends up being pretty good. One of, uh, well, I won't want to say one of Jason Bateman's best, but one of his better in a while. Definitely check this one out if you haven't already. Uh, next up from uh, Epic Pictures, I got the Lodgers Blu-ray. I did post an unboxing of this one and a review of this one. This was a super interesting movie for uh, a lower budget independent type thing. Uh, it's a really well made, you know, well produced, great cinematography on it. Uh, it's kind of like a horror thriller mystery type thing where this brother and sister live in this house and there's these rules and this weird entity that lives there. It was a little confusing and I, I kind of get the ending, but not 100%. I wish they had explained a little bit more. Um, but if you haven't seen The Lodgers yet, I would definitely check this one out. Uh, unfortunately, you can only order the Blu-ray on their website. And uh, they, don't, they don't have the DVD separate. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Or you can uh, also find this on video on demand. Uh, definitely an interesting one. Next up um, from Wild Eye Releasing, we got Dead Justice. I did post a unboxing and a review of this one. And this was a Western with zombies, and I couldn't really think of another Western zombie movie. Um, but it kind of falls into the pitfalls of all the other zombie movies, where it follows basically the same story. For some reason, zombies take over, people uh, all hide in a building until they eventually decide to leave, and then they mostly die. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the same zombie formula, much lower budget and much lower quality of actors. Uh, if you guys are like really big zombie fans, you, you might want to check it out. All right, next up from also from Warner Brothers, we got Father Figures, another movie that I was pleasantly surprised with. Um, I do I do like Ed Helms and I, I love Owen Wilson. Unfortunately, Owen Wilson tends to play virtually the same character in every movie. Um, still a good character, but I mean, you feel like it's just the same guy in every movie. Uh, in this one, they're, they find out their father is not really dead, and they go in search of him, and they, they kind of find out there's many, many men that could be their father, and they're kind of meeting them all, and it's, it, it, at its core, really, it's like a road trip buddy comedy. I mean, they're brothers, but it's it's like a buddy comedy. And I was actually pleasantly surprised, you know? It wasn't super funny, but it was a really good story, and I really enjoyed this one. I did post an unboxing and a review of this one as well. To continue the Jurassic movies, we got uh, <laughs> the Jurassic Dead. Now, when I saw this thing was coming out, I was super excited about it. This one is uh, from Wild Eye Releasing, and it's it's not necessarily about zombie dinosaurs, though. Although there are zombie dinosaurs, uh, I don't I didn't one hundred percent understand <laughs> what was even the idea of this. Uh, this guy is like trying to take out. The USA or the world. I don't, I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, and one of the things he has is some zombie dinosaurs. They, they did some really strange cinematography in this that I really didn't care for. Some really weird editing of the, of the, the lighting and the colors and stuff that, that really took away from the movie. Um, and I just, I, I didn't love this one. Uh, I did post an unboxing and review of this one though. To continue the Jurassic movies, we got the Jurassic Park four movie collection Steelbook. Uh, it includes Jurassic Park, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park 3, and Jurassic World. Uh, there's two Steelbooks, one with 4Ks and one for Blu-rays. First time on 4K, I believe, for all the movies. Um, this is a cool steel Steelbook set. has this great box. I really like it. I posted an unboxing of that. And then again from Wild Eye Releasing, we got uh, Blood Harvest. This was a strange movie, to say the least. I did post a unboxing and review of this one. Uh, it, it was kind of like this, these guys were like killing people, and this guy thought they were vampires, but they, 
they didn't seem like vampires and they had like wear these strange masks and they acted really weird and you kind of question a couple times like okay are they vampires are they just crazy are they something wrong with them it's it's really weird and uh unfortunately another one that i just i didn't love all right next we have red sparrow this one is from 20th century fox and uh, i did post the unboxing of this one i just watched this one this morning it's kind of the last one i was trying to get through before i posted this video uh, I don't think I'm going to post an actual full review of this one, so you just get this review here. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence is a Russian, becomes a Russian spy in the movie. This movie is all the spy movie stuff, except for the action. <laughs> and I'm not a fan of spy movies, I just always feel like they're so boring in the same movies. And um, this one actually stands out as being worse. You know, uh, usually there's at least chase scenes, action, gunfights. This has almost none of that. So if you could imagine all the really boring stuff that happens in spy movies, that's this one for two and a half hours. Why is this movie so long? I just kept hoping it would end and it never did. So unfortunately, this is a great looking steelbook though from Best Buy. Um, can't really recommend that one. I was reading on the Blu-ray. I think it was on the Blu-ray.com forum. No, maybe it was on might have been on slick deals. A lot of people were just complaining about this, and they were right. Uh, now, this one is from Shout Factory. Uh, this is the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure Steelbook. I did post an unboxing of this one. I'm not sure if I've ever seen this one. It has Keanu Reeves when he's, like, super young, and I didn't get around to watching it, um, but a really great-looking steelbook worth picking up. So I also got from... Disney Studios and Marvel Studios. I got the Black Panther 4K Steelbook. I did post an unboxing of this one and I posted a review from when I saw this in theaters. Uh, this was a good movie. Uh, a lot of people, it, it's hard to really say and I, I don't want to come off in the wrong way. Um, I kind of feel like people overstated how good this movie was because they're trying to be extremely PC and you know I'm not complaining about anyone in this but this is by far not the best Marvel movie uh, I did like the story I like the characters but there's not much action in it from a Marvel movie you expect a lot of action the actual Black Panther character is hardly in the movie you know you don't you know obviously you see the guy uh, T'Challa as the as the prince of Wakanda and the king of Wakanda or whatever, uh, or the prince, was he the prince? The, yeah, the prince of Wakanda. And uh, no, he becomes the king, right? Okay, I'm not trying to give away the movie. But uh, you just don't see him as the Black Panther very much, and I found that pretty disappointing. Um, I think they just had to kind of set up this whole world because we weren't that familiar with it. Hopefully the next one, we'll see more action with more Black Panther. I think it'll be a lot better. But uh, a, pretty, a pretty good movie overall. Just needed more action uh, to really kick it up a notch so now my one of my favorite movies in a while jumanji welcome to the jungle this one is from sony pictures and this is the uk 3d version because we didn't get a 3d version here in the u.s um i've seen this movie like six seven times now uh, i posted an unboxing of this one the blu-ray version the 4k steelbook version they're all great uh, <laughs> i did watch this in 3d uh, it was it was nothing too spectacular, but I did think it, it added an extra dimension to the movie, and all versions are worth watching on this one. If you haven't seen it, I'm telling you now, go see it. I also got Friend Request. Evil is trending. Um, this one is from Lionsgate. <coughs> and I, I got this one on Amazon for pretty cheap. I had been wanting to check it out, but it was so cheap I couldn't pass it up, and I was lucky enough to get the slipcover. Uh, I have recorded the unboxing, but I haven't posted it yet, so look for that hopefully soon. Um, and I haven't watched it yet, so I can't really say much about it. Uh, another one that was pretty cheap on Amazon from Walt Disney Studios, uh, Tomorrowland. I've heard this one is not very great. Uh, it stars George Clooney, and it's about a land of tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I haven't even opened this one yet, though. So uh, Next up, was this 
oh man, I'm forgetting now. I believe this was a Best Buy. Yeah, this was Best Buy Steelbook. No, was this this was a wide release Steelbook? Yeah, because Best Buy had the exclusive version with the poster, right? So this must have been a wide release Steelbook of uh, Batman Ninja from Warner Brothers in DC. Uh, this one, like Batman and all the bad guys from Batman go back to feudal Japan as an anime movie. It looked pretty interesting. I heard a lot of people complaining about it. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. I did unbox the steelbook, though. And last up is 12 Strong from Warner Brothers. Another one that I, I still need to get around to watching uh, about these soldiers in Afghanistan, I believe. Yeah, Afghanistan uh, with Chris Hemsworth. In it. I did post the unboxing, but unfortunately I haven't seen that one yet. So this is my update. Pretty good, I think. I think I got a lot of the major titles, got a lot of interesting stuff. I posted a lot of videos. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Uh, is there anything specific in this stack you guys would like reviewed? Uh, what'd you guys think of these movies? What'd you guys pick up? Whatever you guys want to say, be sure to leave that down in the comment section below. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave it a like rating. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check out suggested videos. Check out my website, bobsmoorreview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.